Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Frogger Tabletop by Coleco. And this is basically a mini arcade game from 1982 um, based off of the licensed Frogger game. And it's licensed by Sega, which I guess has the rights to Frogger or something like that. And I picked this up on eBay for 245 bucks. I wanted to say the price just because they cost more money with the box and instructions. This catalog was like a, a bonus, I guess. The only flaw in this is that it's the sticker is peeling. This is my uh, Miss Pac-Man Coleco. I also have a review on that, so you can look at that if you want. And I actually have a special gameplay video because when I was doing the review on my Miss Pac-Man, the gameplay was very bad. And I'm also going to have to try doing this with one hand. Last time I had someone holding the camera for me. This time I don't. So... Let's go over the instructions real quickly. I'm going to kind of compare it to this one. And it's kind of odd because this has all the pages. I know it's because I compared the numbers. Like, I thought it might have some missing because there's barely any pages in here. And in this one, there's a lot. There's a lot of pages. I don't know why. Um, this Miss Pac-Man comes with the... If you're going to mail something back. It's in basically really good condition. Obviously, it's working. That's why I bought it. It also comes with the the packaging, the styrofoam. This one also does too. This one's hard to open because there's a couple rips on the box, but on the outside it looks pretty good. So it has those too. And the thing I've noticed about Coleco games, I'm really into them, I do a lot of research, is on they have instructions almost everywhere. On the back, they have instructions obviously in this manual. And by the way, this game takes 4C batteries, it shows it right here on the bottom. And speaking of the bottom of the game, there's also instructions there. And you got to be careful when you buy these because Coleco makes very bad um, battery covers. They often fall off, so you have to make sure they have those or else it's not really worth that much. And I think that's basically it. Besides gameplay, I have to tell you how it works. Um, by the way, one more thing. The batteries... Um, Clico sells a perma power thing that goes right here. I think that's what they call it. Um, right here on the back. It's basically batteries that you have in here, and you have a cord that plugs into the wall. So basically, it can also be a plug in game to the wall. But otherwise, it's just a portable handheld game from 1982. Um, this little sheet just has other Clico games like their Pac Man. Also, there is Miss Pac Man. That one, that's from 1983. It's not on here because this is from 1992. They also have the Galaxian, the Pac-Man, which I've heard is not the best for Pac-Man gameplay. If you're going to get something with Pac-Man, I'd get that, Miss Pac-Man, because it actually has bonus fruits. The maze is better, the color is, and the sound, too. And Donkey Kong. So I plan to get all of them at one point, and I'll do reviews on each and every one of them. I'll probably do another gameplay video on this Frogger. So, it, for stickers, it has this one on the top, this one on the front, right and left, and we're going to glue that soon, so it'll be good. Right here on the dash, um, right next to the display, and it has the stickers on the bottom for instructions, and that is just like a little, it tells you that the Perma Power or whatever it's called, the Clico batteries come with them. And to turn this on, there's first of all, there's one skill level, another one, there's two skill levels. So, it's pretty loud. There's no mute on it at all, or pause. This is to reset it, so for some weird reason, if you wanted to just reset the game. And I'll do my best to play this. Looking through the camera with one hand. So there's the frog I'm guiding across the um, the cars. Then I have to they have to jump on the logs, and in the end you have to get them way up here. So it's pretty cool. Like I said, I'll have a gameplay video. So if I don't show you everything you want, then they'll be in another one. By the way, this is a VFD display. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'll try to explain it the best I can, and I've noticed one thing about them. 
they have, you can't see it with this camera, that's for sure, but they have like octagonal pixels that are arranged diagonally, very small, and they have like different layers, because you can see like where it would usually light up, except it's not, it's hard to explain, but anyway, that's your time limit, you have to get the frog way up here, it has your score, your frog lives, and this is skill 2, and it has a snake on the road, okay, I'll show you. Which is basically accurate for the real Frogger game. So that's what the time is. And that's a snake that's in front of my frog right now. And I think I've covered everything for this um, Frogger review. It's very good out of five stars. Now this is according to um, basing it, I guess, for a retro handheld game. Even though it's not like um, top notch because it's old, it's still a very nice game. And the reason why Coleco made these was to feel like you're at the actual arcade and they've really done a good job. Uh, this is a little small, and they're known to break and be lost, so that's the problem with the joystick, but it's still pretty cool. At least it's not buttons on it, like the Tommytronic Pac-Man. You can look that up, it's pretty cool. Um, let's see, what else is there? I was going to say something else. Um, so, I just want to do a quick preview of my Miss Pac-Man. This is similar. This has head to head Pac Man, meaning you can play with two people. This has a demo, so it plays by itself. This one doesn't have that, the Frogger. But the Pac Man from 81 does. Anyway, that's really, really short. I just wanted to give you like a preview of that, I guess. And I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, then just comment.